It's finally time. <laughs> I'm seeing Jack. I forgot to paint my nails. Oh no, Jack's gonna have to deal with these busted ass nails. Sorry, J Daddy. Oh. We are headed to Toronto to see Jack oh. Harlow live at the Coca Cola Coliseum. But the freaking deal is, we actually have to get there at 2 p.m. because we have early entry VIP vibes and we want to be literally at the freaking barricade. Oh, oh, I <laughs> Can't wait to wait literally eight hours until he comes out, but it's it's fine. It'll be worth it, right? We're going to pick up Grace right now, which is AK Goo. We are both Jack Harlow stands. So let's get the playlist bumping, the set list going. Also, City Girls are going, and like I barely know any of their songs. I know like I know like a good amount, but not word for word. <laughs> hey JT. <laughs> so guys, it's the middle of October. So I'm gonna buy this fucking baby blanket, leave it on the side of the road before Jack Harlow. So we're gonna be freezing outside and I didn't tell you guys, but I'm actually allergic to the cold. I literally got, did I tell you that? Yeah, you told me that. Oh yeah, I got mm -hmm. diagnosed. Like I'm, I literally have a disease where I'm allergic to the cold. So I gotta keep it, gotta keep it warm. So should I get this baby blanket for $4? Yeah. I think it'll do the trick. I think so. Or do we get the scarf? Baby blanket, thicker. <laughs> should we go with the sleeping baby? <laughs> No, things. we're good. Unbox my baby blanket with me. <laughs> Someone's gonna get real lucky after this job. Oh, yeah. It's gonna still be there when we leave. Nobody's gonna want it. Hello? <laughs> Iconic. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a little small. It's a little tight. It's a little snug. Honestly, it's all I need. I think you should have gone with the scarf. <laughs> We made it to the res. We made it to the rags residence. Hi, babe. New work. That was rude. <laughs> so we're getting ready for Jack Harlow. So on the way here, I had um, a low-key breakdown because I realized I forgot all my makeup brushes. And Apple. <laughs> At home. What time is it? 12.45? 12.41. Yep. Concert starts at uh, 7, actually. <laughs> so we're getting there. Jack I, like, doesn't come out till literally 10 o'clock. No, Jack literally doesn't come out till 9.40, which is 10 o'clock. Sand help. Oh, me and Goo. <laughs> on the way up, we put on, like, the Jack Harlow set list, and we realized we literally don't know any of the lyrics. And, like, we know the songs, but, like, the lyrics are just really hard to learn. Fake fans. We're fake. No, we're fake fans. We're going to be at the barricade being like, Young Harleys. <laughs> Happy Jack Day! Oh, Taylor, get in. Oh, Happy Jack Day. No, on her head. No, good oh, touch. I didn't touch her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're right. Oh Go, Selena. <laughs> hey! What is it? Yo, know, if I get on the stage with Jack I'm just gonna do that. Hey, give us a strut. Give us a strut. Oh, now let's see that walk. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay guys, we made it to the Coca-Cola Coliseum. We were waiting in the general admission line and then realized there was actually a whole VIP line. So thank God we looked. But we are 22nd in line. So hopefully that means we are at the front gate. In two and a half hours, we will be inside. Yeah, two and a half hours. <laughs> Ew, I have like makeup on my hand. There's so many pretty girls here. Like Jack Harlow could literally be like, I can have you. I can have you. Yeah, exactly. I'll pick you. Nice. And we are just sipping on our little drinkies. We have water. We're prepared oh. for the next two and a half hours. <laughs> Guys, look what just airdropped us. Wait. We just got an airdrop. <laughs> Anybody has a lighter? 5.40. It's ridiculous. It's just Stupid. ridiculous. 5.50. Hey, this is Sarah from the future and I thought I would give you guys a little more information because you're probably gonna be like, who is that? Like what happened? But we <laughs> we met our Jack Harlow besties in line and we just vibed out like for literally three hours. And then we got to this point where we were like, we're gonna go in together. Like, I don't even care if we're behind like 30 people in line. Like we're staying together. Like we're the core five, okay? So we had Emily, Christian and Sarah and they were the best. We are now in a Jack Harlow group chat and just said, and everything Jack Harlow, but <laughs> they were just so fun. But anyway, cue that, and I'll see you in a minute. It's not giving. It's 5 50. We're not getting in. Not getting in. We're not getting in. The line's actually fucked. Look at this. That's just VIP, and then there's general admission all the way around the corner. This is so cute. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> the first ones. Hey, again. So you're probably wondering. 
how we were the first fucking people in this bitch and you're literally not gonna believe it like the gods from jack harlow sent above blessed us so there was a door we were standing at and then there was a door that everyone was like lined up at like remember i told you the girl was like writing down numbers and shit like okay they were at the front and a few people also butted us in line because like we wanted to stay together so i'm like you know what Take my spot in line, it's fine. So we're standing beside these like abandoned doors and then there's like the full set of doors that everyone's lining up at. And I was like, imagine this like door just opened right beside us and like we became first in line. Um. Anyway, time goes by, now we're like an hour late. The doors still haven't opened. Anyway, hallelujah, the doors, like literally the angels, like when you arrive to heaven, like the doors open, okay? We are first in line. People are like, oh my God, that's unfair. Like totally get it but like i'm first in line like i'm signing in and jack carlo's brother was also signing everyone in so hey claiborne anyway um <laughs> so he checks us in we get this like lanyard with like jack carlo's signature on it and there's a couple people that also got a little bit ahead of us and they were like waiting in the merch line and i was like see a merch like i don't give a fuck about your merch so i start booking it past the merch line and me and goo are first in line and then we stand we have to stand in front of the security guard for another 40 minutes okay so that's that's where we're at stress stress out well we're in and we're sitting in line and all these bitches are crazy and like i don't know if we're doing these bitches are crazy for jack Goddamn front row. I'm so nervous right now. I'm like, <laughs> okay, and then Christian FaceTimed his like cousin or something and like said he met Addison Ray. Like, apparently, they thought I look like Addison Ray. <laughs> Anyway, so then Emily posts on her story that like she just like tagged Addison Ray. The amount of story replies thinking like I was actually Addison Ray. Like, some people need to go to the optometrist. <laughs> My, my sister fully thinks it's Addison Ray. <laughs> he posted this story <laughs> and someone said <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm so I'm not stop. <laughs> hey, so far this shit's more lit than Vancouver.
My intuition is filled with One more time, make some noise. Will you tell the crowd your name, please, even though they already know? My name is Carisha. Yeah! <laughs> I'm about to lift you up there. Okay, I literally hate to be that bitch that's like, he looked at me, but like, I have to tell you the story. <laughs> okay, he probably, no, I know he literally does this to every concert he goes to anyway, but. So in first class, you know when he's like, first class, yeah. Um, and then he's like, are you ready? And then you're like, yes, I am. You superstar, my blah, 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 yeah, yeah. He looks at me in the soul, okay? Like, snatches that shit, okay? Snatch my soul. He's like, are you ready? And I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> he was staring at me for like literally five seconds. So like, hopefully he knows I'm here in this world. Um, but yeah, that was like my two seconds of life. <laughs> No, the signature's gone. Jack. Mine's probably gone too. I literally knew it was some bullshit. I knew it wasn't actually his right hand. That's why. I it. it was big gold on. This is 14 hour. Hi. This is 14 hour subway. Giving but the next morning. I actually got hit by a fucking bus. <laughs> Yo, why is this quality so bad? Like, is this the iPhone 14 or the iPhone 4 fucking negative 500? How are we supposed to move on with life? 
I woke up at like 7.30, I went to bed at 2. So that's gonna really hit me later when I'm driving home in the ditch. <laughs> We are here. This is my favorite place. If you're, if you go to Ryerson or did go to Ryerson, you know this place. It's actually so good. And yeah, Ball it's socks. called yeah, it's called Ball Socks. We're having our sad meal this morning. Wow, the pressure is getting worse. We are headed to the Brandy Melville strip. What fucking street is that? Like Queen or something? Yeah, and we're gonna do a little thrift shopping because I literally have an addiction. I've actually had an addiction to thrift shopping for like six years now, but Toronto thrift shopping just hits different. So we're gonna do that. And drop a band out of Ritzia. Of course we have to go to Ritzia for goo. She likes to drop her paychecks on that place. She just gives a Ritzia. She gives a Ritzia cool girl. Oh, that's <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> that's actually crap. Yeah, I got the nuggets because I love nuggets and of course waffle fries and of course mama chick-fil-a Hello <laughs> Hey, um, so just got back from shopping and I got a few things you gotta wait till the end for the best part First thing actually this is a pretty good part too. We went to mama's vintage never heard of it before But look what we found here. Okay straight from Graceland my husband. No, like, look at this, dude. This is what I was telling you. Direct from Grace. Wow. Straight out of the room. Then, oh, we have a bunch of Chick fil A sauces. Then we got these from Value Village. I have something special coming up soon, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> These are super cool. They're these cargos, back cargos. The back detailing is like my favorite part. I love this little um, diaper stitching. It's really cute. <laughs> and for the best part, It's a mushroom diffuser, okay? This was originally $130. It was 60 on sale and then 50% off the sale, so I got it for 30 bucks. And it's actually the fucking cutest thing you've ever seen in your life, like. Tell her right now, no. is that a light? No, just say. No. It's a diffuser. <laughs> Should I put like a little toad face on it? No, don't ruin it. <laughs> it's a vape. <laughs> you made that, Literally. why was that Mickey Mouse? I guess the video stopped there, but thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. I already pre-filmed a chat mukbang with me part two with Brianna. And then I also filmed, <laughs> you know, that like blind mute and deaf challenge from um, the like guy twins did it and they like baked something. I did that with my sister and friend. It was actually such a shit show, so just like keep an eye out for that. But make sure to follow me on Instagram at s.far and everything you want to see. What? I love you guys, and I will see you next Thursday. Have a Gucci fresh night.